Hey guys, welcome back to Coughing Up Stitches. Um, I pretty much did what everybody else has been doing. I went to the big 75% uh, off Hobby Lobby sale. And I really just want to show you guys um, what I got there today and then uh, a couple of things that I've got um, back around my birthday time. Uh, sorry, Savage is over here trying to get in the camera. Don't know why. But this is this is my cat, Savage. She she likes to be a camera hog, so if y'all ever see her, this is Savage. And then I also have two other fur babies, um, Pixel and Daisy, but they are lounging on the blankets that are laying uh, down for them. But um, I got a couple of other things. A uh, couple of things, if you guys want to, you can give me some ideas about it. A um, couple of things I already have plans for it. But um, let's go ahead and get into it, and we'll show you what I got for my birthday first. See here. Oh, and there she goes. There she goes. So, um, I went to Michael's with my best guy friend. Oh, and here she is. Wants to be in the camera, obviously, tonight. Won't, won't let me rest. But um, he took me to Michael's for my birthday, and we got a pound of love. Um, it's a four weight, just in black. Nothing really spectacular about it. It's kind of more of like a dark charcoal. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I think it pretty much just looks black on camera, but it's kind of got more of a charcoal feel to it to me than just black, black. Um, so we got a pound of that. And then we also got red. And what I, uh, well, it's actually called Cherry, if you go to look for it, um, Pound of Love. I think this one's just called Black. No, it's called Charcoal. So I was right on my assumption. She's gonna probably keep getting up here tonight, so y'all don't see me moving her a lot. So this video is probably longer than I want to. But it's also a four. <laughs> I guess I'll just hold her here. But um, this is also a four. What I am wanting to do with this is either do a Granny Square cardigan or a Hexagon cardigan. I don't know if this will be enough. I'm hoping it'll get most of it done, but if not, I can always go back and get more because I think Lime Brands had this out for a while. I know Karen done a one pound, um, and it's really soft, but I like mine to be not super soft if it's gonna be a wearable because I don't want it to wear out really quick. So I normally do my wearables a little bit tougher, but I do like this, it is soft. It's just not super, super soft where I feel like if I throw it in the washer that I can't wash it. Um, the care on this is machine washable and dryable, so that's always good. Um, it, like I said, it's a weight four and it says to use a J hook. Um, so that's probably actually what I'll use. I either use a J or a, or a um, L for mine, just cause I like my stuff big. Savage, you don't have to get down, sweetie. We can't be doing this. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, she won't jump back up here. I don't know. She gets in these moods sometimes where she's got to be on mama. Um, he had also got me two of the Karen cotton cakes. He actually really liked this color. I'm thinking I'll probably maybe make a pair of socks out of this. Maybe a couple of dish rags. Um, or if I feel froggy i might make me a shirt or something out of it i'm not real sure but i'm thinking socks were probably about my best bet because i do just have two um these come in let's see it's a size four and it is machine washable and dryable anything that's machine washable and dryable i'm happy about it and these cakes are 8.8 .8 ounces so that's always good That's pretty much all I got for my birthday. Um, I got this uh, probably in January. My birthday was in February. It was February the 12th, so I'm a little late on this. But I got this in January. It's just one of the big, um, like, one thing blankets. It's two pounds, 547 yards. It's 100% polyester, machine washable and dryable, which I like. It says to use an N, but since I'm such a loose crocheter and I want to get as a big a blanket uh, out of this as I can, I'll probably go actually down a hook size. I'm not sure yet because I don't really know how I want to do this yet. 
So here's for what I got today. Um, the yarn I'm fixing to show you, it all came from Hobby Lobby. And I got it for $101 and some odd cents today, which was actually a good buy. Um, I'm gonna start, I think, with the big yarn that I got, which is way back here. Yes, we are in my bedroom because my son has taken over the living room, so I have come in here to do this. But we got the Chunky Knit. This is Redwood. It, it was normally um, $21.99 per skein for this, and I got it for $5.49. That is a huge steal um, for me because I like using the big chunky yarn. I have not used the chunky knit yet, so if anyone has used it, just let me know how you liked it down in the comments below and just say, hey, I liked it or hey, I don't like it. Um, I haven't used it. I'm gonna definitely make a blanket out of it probably for around fall because of the color redwood. I got three of these. They had a fourth one. I just didn't get it because it's kind of like coming out and unraveled and knotted up already so I didn't want to get it so I got three of these um, in this color redwood one two and then three um, and then of course I'm gonna have to add another color to it because I can't just do just redwood because I'd feel like I was like staring at a brick wall or whatever. So the next one I got, I only got two of these because I'm probably just gonna do the redwood and then this one and then a redwood and then this one then a redwood and end it. Um, but this one is muted sage. Um, same thing, it was $21.99, got it for $5.49 a piece. They only had two of these, or I would have probably actually went ahead and got another one and then done my border in this color. I'm gonna try and go to a couple of other stores that's close to me um, Monday when I'm off and see if maybe they have at least one more of these because I'd really like to do the border in sage green since we're gonna have redwood on each end. Um, it just depends on whatever strikes me. Um, these are 50% acrylic, 35% polymide, and 15% wool. Um, it doesn't say it's machine wash and dryable on here, but it does have like a little, um, yeah, it says hand wash at 30 degrees Celsius. It's got like the little thing right there telling you to hand wash it and not to iron or um, dry it or anything. So I'll probably just end up um, washing this by hand or Sometimes I can put some of this stuff on delicate in my washer and it works just fine. I'm not telling you to do that because maybe your washer, washer washes harder than mine. But I'll probably hand wash this and then block it and then maybe try to throw it like on the delicate cycle after that. But I do like hand washing all my items, even my big blankets and letting, laying them out flat to dry when I, and block them and stuff. Just because I feel like it gives me more of a sense of getting all the dyes out. I can feel how it feels in different spots. But I will say that sometimes if the yarn feels rough when it dries, I will take a dryer sheet and kind of run it over that or put it in the dryer, but on no heat and just to tumble for a couple of minutes so it'll feel a little bit softer. But this is actually really soft. It doesn't feel rough or anything. I think I'm really gonna like it as a blanket. Um, I have a couple of blankets that are just like horror affiliated. I've got a corpse ride blanket. Um, I'm probably gonna go get me Michael's blanket here in a couple of days, but I like having handmade stuff because I can make it to my size. I'm five seven and anything I can make wider and longer, I know I'm gonna take a good nap with it. So, but this is the two colors I got to go together. I'll let you look at them together. I just think those would look really good together. Kind of reminds me of like a terracotta pot and a cactus. Um, there was a girl there today that I was talking to and she's like, yeah, it looks like a terracotta pot and a cactus. And I hadn't really thought about that. And I was like, huh, okay. So I really like those two. I think it's gonna make a pretty good size blanket. Like I said, I got three of the redwood and two of the green. And when I do make something out of it, I will, I will show it to you guys. 
Um, let's see. And then I got, um, let's see. I think I got two of those. I did. I will say, I thought I got two of all these. This is the Lazy Days. Let's get cozy. Normally $6.99, and I got it for $1.74. So I got two of these green ones called Leechin, 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 Leech Hen, something like that. So I got two of those and they are, hang on. And then I've got two of the blue ones called Bluebell. So it's perfectly named Bluebell. It was just a real pretty like, I thought it was a very, lady but at the same time masculine color so I thought it'd be a good unisex color where the green is more like a, a pastel green not not a bright green not a man it's pastel looking it looks more mint on the camera but it's it's actually really pretty like green pastel color and then I got these two um clay is what they're called it's actually a really pretty like dark peachy tone i don't know if the camera's picking that up but these are um 3.5 ounce balls 100 grams medium weight for 100 percent polyester machine wash and dry now i love making socks and i thought these would make perfect socks to kind of mix and match and do like a, a top and a heel toe different color thing I'm not sure though because it is 100% polyester and I think it would have a lot of wear on the heel or the ball of your foot. I'm not sure yet, but we will see. Like I said, once I make things with this stuff, get me like two or three items made, I'll come on here and I'll show you guys. But those are the ones I got in the Lazy Days for $1.74 a piece, guys. $1.74 a piece. And they was normally $6.99. I think I done said that. I couldn't remember. Then, there was another lady there shopping. And I seen something in her car. And I seen it was on sale. And I was like, where did you find that? I really like that yarn. And it's, um, and she helped me find it. And I got one, two, and three a piece of these. This is called Reclaim. It is normally $8.49 and I got it for $2.12. They are 8 ounces, 60% uh, recycled acrylic, 40% recycled polyester. And it's a super six bulky. I'm trying to read on here. This is hand washed to it. It says 30 degrees Celsius. And this color is taupe just just hope it's it's kind of like a light brown color to me and i really liked it i thought well this would be great for those nights when you just want to chill out you don't want bright colors you just kind of want to chill out i might make some um maybe like knotted pillows out of it or something um because they're they're really soft i mean like i am so surprised by how soft this yarn is i don't use hobby lobby a lot unless it's i love this yarn or if I'm doing a pattern um, from another YouTuber that specifically says they used Hobby Lobby, da 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 da, and then I'll go get it. Um, but this is this is really soft. Like I think a lot of the yarn companies have really just stepped up the way they're making their yarn now because a lot of it's just so soft. The bigger chains and stuff. Um, I have been getting really um, kind of not upset but maybe like a little like giving up on red heart but now some of their stuff is actually coming out softer so i don't i don't know if like they're if maybe they've changed who they're getting their spun wool from or or whatever they're doing but some of the yarn's a little bit softer uh this is the same the reclaim i got four of these and this color is silver sage if you haven't figured it out i like green <laughs> But that's kind of what they are. They're not shiny like they are on the camera, obviously. They are a, li um, a little bit fibery. But, I mean, I can I can deal with that. I mean, I know it's not anti-peel. They do have anti-peel, but that was not on sale at my um, Hobby Lobby. But it, I think it will be okay because it's not just flying off. Like, I have to pull on it, you know, to even get it to raise up. 
but um, like I said, 212 originally 849, and the color is silver sage, and it is a eight ounce um, a skein of yarn, and it tells you use an 11. I'll probably actually end up using the J. J is my favorite. Um, I also like the L, but it, it really depends on what I'm making. So the last bag I got. Um, I was wanting to go for fur, but um, I'm making a cardigan for someone and they don't really like the big fur. So I thought this would be a good uh, replacement to do around the collar and for the for the uh, border right here the, and then maybe around the wrist. I don't know. I'm using the Red Heart Peach looking ombre. Um, forget what color it's actually called but it's like the peachy toned one these was $11.99 normally and I got it for $3.24 and this is called truly teddy and I just got white because of the peach tone with the really light like almost white peach tone I thought this would go good but this is called truly teddy I got two of those just to be on the safe side I thought well if anything else I could make her uh, a ear warmer or something. This um, lady is, lives in Greenmount, North Carolina, and we know it gets cold up there. Uh, let's see. They had a couple of their uh, Scrubology cotton on sale. It's normally $4.49. I got it for $1.47. Of course, we know what Scrubology is about. We're gonna, I'm going to be making some dish rags out of this. I just um, getting my new place together. That's one reason why I haven't been on here. I've been painting and I've been repairing and doing this and doing that. Still have a lot to do, but I will eventually be able to get back on here and start doing what I was doing before. But this is just green. There's no special color to it. It's not that lime green that you're seeing on screen. It is a brighter green, but it's not as bright as um, what it's showing on the camera, but it's just plain green. The ones they didn't have on sale was the Scrubology that was mixed with the scrub and the cotton like mixed together in the Scrubology yarn bead. That one wasn't on sale. Um, there's a couple of them I really like, but they wasn't on sale. So I got the plain colors because they was. And then this is not a yarn thing, but I love this character so much. Um, probably more so in the movies than the actual comics just because a movie gives them a little bit more sass, um, but this was $4.99. It wasn't on sale, but I'm going to put this on one of my cardigans, but it's just Harley Quinn. I love her. I think she is fantastic, and I aspire to be like her. Maybe not the hair, but I do aspire to be like her. Or Wednesday. You know, either one would be good. Um, let's see. I got... I think that's all I've got of these two. So I got two of the sugar and cream scrub off that is mixed with the cotton, but this is sugar and cream. It was the yarn bee that wasn't mixed with the little scrub and the cotton. These, I got to, uh, this one, it's called linen. They are normally $4.99. I got them for $1.24. And then the other one I got was bubble white. It's got a little bit of blue in there where this one's just more gray. And I got a bunch of their sock yarn. Um, they was 80, the ones I got was 87 cents. Some of them was like $1.24. Um, I'm gonna try to get all of the same color out here at one time because I did get a lot. I got one, two, three, six. <laughs> Uh, I think I got seven of this one color. Yeah, I got seven of these. Um, like I said, it was 87 cents and it was normally $3.49. If you can see that, but I got it for 87 cents. And I seen this and they had all these and I was like, you know what? I love this colorway. I'm probably gonna make like two pair, two, three pairs of socks. Um, this one is called Soft Dusk. And because it is sock yarn, 
it is a weight fine too it says hand wash 93 percent acrylic seven percent polyester but this one is by uh, yarn be cozy toes the ones that was a little bit more was the was the other one i think it's like Patton or pa patron or something like that that was the one that was dollar 24 but the cozy toes by yarn B was 87 cents and i got seven of this color and then I got one, three of this color. This is, uh, like I said, is 87 cents, had been $3.49. Um, and this color is called Multiverse. I just really thought that the purple and the pink in there was really pretty. It's got like a darker, um, mauve color i don't know if you can see that and some blues it was just a really pretty color and i thought even if i can't make a pair of socks out of three of these i know i can do something else with it but i, I think i can with three and then I, I already have one of these in my stash and i went ahead and got these two it's the last two this one is called timberland coast and it's got those real pretty like oceany blues bronze um, really kind of like an outside desert ocean area, but I just really like that color for a guy. So I got two of those because I already have one in my possession. And then oh wait eight. I have eight of the soft dust. The first one I showed you guys. It just has really pretty um, blues and like a pink. It's kind of like a, for me, it kind of be like a unisex color. So I really liked it. So I have eight of these. I thought I only had seven, but I had eight. One, one was hiding from me. So the next thing that they had marked down that I really liked was the Yarn Bee um, Hand Dyed Alpaca Proud Peacock. This is one of the ones I got. I'm probably just gonna make a hat out of this. Um, a friend of mine's coming over to watch my puppers um, next weekend. So I really want to make them a hat or something to say thank you. I know it's getting hot right now, but um, this person really appreciates it when I do make them things. These are normally $14.99 and I got it for $3.74. And this is one, this one is 100% baby alpaca. So definitely no socks or anything like that. That's going to be used a lot. I wouldn't even use this for uh, mittens. If you use your mittens to drive or anything, I, I wouldn't even do it for that. Maybe a nice shawl, a hat definitely would be okay because you're not going to be rubbing on it or anything like that. Um, this is a weight too fine. And it says on here that you hand wash... Um, I think that's dry and then that you can iron it, but I would, I don't iron my yarn. I'm just always afraid it will burn, but that's the packaging on the back there. You can see right there, hand wash, dry, iron, and then it's got the washer and the triangle X'd out, whatever the triangle is. I don't even know what that is, um, but it does suggest to use a US 6 four millimeter hook. Honestly... I will probably use my, I'll probably actually go up a size or two and use a bigger one. Not a J, may, maybe go down to like an I or something, um, but I don't, I don't really go down into the four millimeter, but I may have to with this yarn. I've never worked with this yarn before, so I'm not sure. I've never had any alpaca, but my son will definitely have to help me wind this up in a cape because I don't have the... the the swift or whatever it's called i don't have that so he's gonna be sitting there like they do in the old days holding it like this while i put it in a ball <laughs> um and then i got two of these but i really want you to see how different they look um because it is hand dyed this one was 15.99 is reduced down to 3.99 this is by westeria moon it's hand dyed um and it is 99% superwash merino wool and 1% metallic polyester and then it's a one super fine 
same thing mm, hand wash dry and you can iron it but like i said i don't iron my stuff and it calls for a d3 or a 3.25 millimeter hook i am not going to go that small with this i'm not but this color was just beautiful to me it's got <clears throat> the sparkle in it definitely does but it's got that beautiful blue and it's got like this brownish purple here it's more purple in person and it's got like this light purple right through there with the white mixing in with it it's just really beautiful and now i got another one of the same color and it looks completely different like you can tell it's got the same colors in it but i feel like this one had i feel like this one's prettier the way it i don't know if it's the way it's wound on the way it's hanged up or what i feel like this one's prettier but this one had more of the colors in it than this one did because you can see as it gets up to the top it's pretty much just white there um but i got both of these i'm thinking maybe a shawl with these um not really sure but like I said, when I figure out what I'm gonna make with all this stuff, I'll definitely show you guys. Um, I had forgot one of the things I've been working on, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, I got the um, Karen tea cakes and I got the spiced fruit. And I'm doing um, called the Granny Spike Stitch on it. Um, there's another lady that has a tutorial on that so I'm not gonna make a tutorial on it because I don't I feel like when I do the same tutorial for something especially if it's somebody I watch that I'm stealing from their page and I don't want to do that but if you want to see that stitch it's on alt knots but I she uses um, spice cakes and I'm using the tea cakes but I have smoked fruit is my color I'll definitely bring it on here probably um, next week when I get some of this stuff worked up. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed looking at the yarn that I've collected in Jan January, uh, February, March, April. Um, you know, well, we're not in April yet, but we're about there. But I hope you enjoyed looking at everything I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I would say that normally this, what I got today would probably amount to maybe three four hundred dollars if anybody out there is a calculator whiz and you want to add it all up for me and put it down in the comments below I, you can but i just don't have time to do that um one of the things that i did buy that i didn't show you guys back in january because i've already made a blanket with it was the anniversary cake uh, sticks and stones or sticks and bricks or something like that it, w it had the yellow and the gray and the blue and the green it was very pretty i made a um granny spike stitch with it but i didn't have enough because i didn't buy two and i made the blanket extremely long so i actually ended up having to go in my stash and like mix and match colors and stuff it's definitely not the same yarn it's definitely not the same color but it turned out pretty cool so if i can get it um, a picture of it or put it on camera i'll definitely show you guys but it, it just turned out like a really cool like combination of different yarns and everything and the guy i made it for actually really likes it which it is my best guy friend that took me yarn shopping for my birthday last month so um but that's all i have for you guys tonight um i hope you enjoyed this quick video of me showing the yarn and me rattling my brain off like i normally do when i get on here because it just did it goes whatever but um i will see you guys hopefully monday maybe tuesday i might be able to upload a video but i will see you guys next time and i hope you guys have fun i hope you guys get to go to your local hobby lobby and get the 75 percent off i really enjoyed browsing yarns that i normally would not look at and being able to go ahead and get them to put them in my stash so i really did enjoy that like I said, I'm going to go to a couple more around in my area. I've got like one, two, probably about three in, in my vicinity that I can go to besides the one I went to today. And I really want to go check those out Monday. So I may be back with some more yarn Monday. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.